Can you eat cross-pollinated squash? We have different types of squash and they come from the family of cucurbitaceae plants. Squash examples include zucchini, pumpkins, gard, and the like. Squash is a type of fruit that has seeds in its internal part and they are derived from a flowering plant of plants. Cross-pollination happens when two separate plants exchange their pollen grains and pistil to give rise to a new variety that has the characteristic of the two parent plants. Now cross-pollination can occur between different types of squash variety. Are cross-pollinated squash edible or consumable? The straight-up answer is that cross-pollinated squash is mostly inedible. It isn't a good thing to consume cross-pollinated squash. The reason is that they contain a large amount of cucurbitacin. Consuming cross-pollinated squash may simply be toxic to your health. Squash cross-pollination Cross-pollination occurs by exchanging male and female gametes between two separate plants to produce offspring. Cross-pollination does occur among squash. If you plant two same or different squash varieties, they may cross-pollinate with each other to yield new offspring. Cross-pollination can occur in squashes and pumpkins. Seed saving from squash. It is pretty rewarding to save seeds from your garden. However, you need to be careful of the type of seed being saved particularly if they have been cross-pollinated. If the seeds of cross-pollinated offspring of squash are saved and planted the following year, it may give rise to a totally different plant that is inedible. What squash will cross-pollinate with other squash? The following squashes from each group can cross-pollinate with each other. Zucchini, acorn, delicata, patty pan, yellow crookneck, and spaghetti squash. Pumpkins and gourds can also cross-pollinate with these groups of squash. Buttercup, butternut, hubbard, and turban squash. All these plants can be easily cross-pollinated by insects. Their separate male and female flower increase the chances of the female flower becoming fertilized with different pollen grains from a different variety of species or the same species. These combinations of plants may end up yielding inedible fruits. Why cross-pollinated squash tends to be toxic? Normally, the plants of the cucurbitaceae family are meant to produce a toxic compound which is cucurbitacin. This toxic compound usually acts as a natural defense against insects. This cucurbitacin toxic compound is present in wild squash, cucumbers, as well as other cucurbits in a substantial amount. However, the domesticated variety often contains a very little amount of this compound that isn't harmful to humans when consumed. Can insect pollinating bees cross pollinate squash? Squash are insect pollinated plants. Hence bees can cross-pollinate squash. You may even be growing just one type of squash variety in your garden. Bees can simply collect a different pollen grain from your neighborhood and cross-pollinate it with yours. How to avoid cross-pollinated squash in your garden? It is required you separate them by a good distance of one and a half to a mile. Additionally, you can build some barriers to reduce the chances of pollinators cross-pollinating your plants drastically. Furthermore, you can cage or net your entire plants. Or you can simply tape new male and female flowers as they begin to form. But this method usually requires hand pollination of flowers once they are ready to pollinate. How do you cross-pollinate zucchini? Identify the male and female flowers on the zucchini plant. Male flowers have a thin stem on the plant's main branches. Female flowers have a small, immature zucchini at the base of the flower and are located on the main stem or branches of the plant. Gently remove the petals from a male flower to expose the stamen, which is the pollen-producing part of the flower. Use a small paintbrush or cotton swab to gently dab the stamen on the stigma of a female flower. The stigma is the sticky, receptive part of the female flower that receives the pollen. Repeat this process with multiple female flowers to ensure cross-pollination. It's important to know that zucchini plants can also self-pollinate. However, cross-pollinating can help improve the genetic diversity of the plant and may result in stronger, healthier plants and fruit. Reasons to consider cross-pollinating your zucchini plants. Improves genetic diversity. 
Cross-pollination introduces new genetic material into the plant, which can result in offspring with traits that are different from those of their parents. This can lead to plants that are more resistant to diseases and pests and that are better adapted to their environment. Increased fruit production. Cross-pollination can lead to more flowers and fruit, as the plant's genetics may be more favorable for fruit production. Improved fruit quality. Cross-pollination can result in improved size, shape, and flavor, as well as longer shelf life. Increased seed viability. Cross-pollination can result in seeds that are more viable and able to germinate and grow into healthy plants. Although cross-pollination has added benefits, it can be tricky to master. Conclusion So, we have answered the question, can you eat cross-pollinated squash? Hence, if you encounter a cross-pollinated squash, it is very likely they contain a huge amount of the toxic compound cucurbitacin. So, do well to avoid eating them so you don't experience serious illness as a result of consuming them. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.